Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in Digital Logic Design. In this tutorial, we'll talk about state reduction. State reduction is a process where uh, we try to remove the redundant states from a state diagram or from a state table, thereby facilitating the reduction in the hardware for the physical implementation of a logic circuit. So, we could say that state reductions are used to eliminate redundant states. So, it simplifies and reduces the cost because every state is made up of flip-flops and all so if the number of states are reduced the redundant states are removed the cost of the circuit will go down so I'll take up an example of a state table of a logic design of a sequential logic design and from this state table we'll try to reduce it using our techniques for state reduction. Now every state table will be given with the present state of course and when the next state is achieved you either give an input 0 or a 1 for example uh, if you would have seen the state transition diagram for this table the, the state A would have gone to state B on a zero and it would have gotten an output one and on on the application of the input one it would have gone to state C and would have given an output of zero so that is how the state transition tables are made well I would not go into the detailing of drawing a state transition diagram from this state table will straight away start working on the state reduction in state reduction the first technique that we use is we see that what all present states give the same next states and give the same output while producing the next state now if you examine closely we start from the very bottom the state F takes you to the next state B and C upon the application of input 0 and 1 respectively and that is what is happening with state A if you are in state A you will go to state B and C upon the application of 0 and 1 input respectively so these two states are redundant so you need to identify those states which give you the same next states so what I'll do is in the next step I'll check whether they are producing the same output because that is imperative to check otherwise you would not be able to label it as redundant and you will not be able to um, eliminate one of them so they both are giving same output as well so I can safely say that my state A is equivalent to F and I can do away with this state so wherever I see F in the next state column I can replace it with A now All right. So moving forward, we we are going to eliminate F from everywhere in this table. F will also be featuring in the next states, so we'll remove that as well. Now let's see if any of these states, present states, give us the same next state. Yes. Now B gives us the next state. A and D 
upon the application of 0 and 1 respectively and E also is giving A and D when the input is 0 and 1 respectively. So first these two are identified as redundant states in the first step. We'll check whether they are producing the same output. Yes they are. So the output is 0 0 in both the cases when the input is 0 and 1. So I can safely say that this B is also a redundant, uh, sorry E is also a redundant state which is equivalent to B. So I'll put B is equivalent to E and I'll remove this also from the table. Now wherever I see E, I'm going to replace it with B. So do I see this combination anywhere? So this is BC, this is AD, DB, AB. So we do not have any more same states for the present states. So no more redundant states are left to be reduced. So we've completely reduced our table and the final table will look something like this. Uh, we'll eliminate E and F from here and we'll do away with these options forever. So you'll not see them in the state transition diagram. So this was one example of a simple reduction. I have one more example where a transition diagram, state transition diagram is given. From that diagram, we'll draw the state table and from the state table, we'll be reducing the states. On the right hand side of the sheet, I have a state transition table. If you look at this state transition table, you have seven states ranging from A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Now it is pretty easy to draw this equivalent state table from this state transition diagram. You need to simply track the position or the state of A when 0 is applied as input and 1 is applied as output and at the same time you could write down the outputs also. What will be the output when a 0 was applied as input and what will be the output when a 1 was applied as input. So I'll show you how this table was filled up. When at A, if we give a 0 we come back to A and if we give a 1 we go to B. Just follow this arrow while we gave 1 as input the output was 0 and while we gave 1 as input the output was 0. Now when at B we went to C upon 0 we went to D upon 1. When we went to C upon the application of 0 input we got a 0 and when we applied 1 as an input we got an output 0 but we went to state D. So that is how this entire table was populated. Now you can uh, you need to be very careful uh, while filling up this table because if you make a mistake uh, filling up this table then you would not be able to find the redundant states. So let's examine from the bottom we have the present state G which takes us to next states A and F when 0 and 1 is applied. So let's see if we have A and F anywhere else. Yes we do. We have an A and an F at E also. So they seem to be redundant to us but we need to double check this with the outputs also. The output is 0 and 1 in case of G and it is 0 and 1 in case of E also. So we can safely remove this and I'll put E is equivalent to G. So wherever I see G I'm going to put E 
in the next state column because eventually we do not wish g to be featuring anywhere so we do not have g elsewhere so this is what we are left after removing one state from the state table now we'll see e and f do they feature anywhere else as next states for any present state because we are checking it for f f gives us e and f as next states so e and f d also gives us e and f as next states so i'll put d is equivalent to f and uh, we've checked that the output is 0 1 and output is 0 1 so which is pretty good so i can remove this also so wherever i see d i'm going to put uh, so i'm sorry wherever i see f i'm going to put d in the next state table so i'll put a d here i'll put a d here now i'll see if i get a and d as the next state elsewhere i do get a and d next as next states with c also so this seems to be a case of redundant states but the output here is different just look at the output for present state e it is 0 and 1 the output for present state c is 0 and 0 so they do not match so we cannot uh, remove this state e from the table so what we are left with is we are left with uh, a b c d e as the present states and wherever we see g and f we are going to remove that from our tables and we should be seeing only these five alphabets as present and next states in our state table thereby this complicated state transition diagram of seven states would be reduced to now five states and over here also this complicated structure of six states was reduced to four states so this helps us in uh, making our lives easier and i hope you liked the video and it helped and if you like the videos in the series give it a thumbs up and consider sharing and subscribing i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye